Hey everyone, it's Thursday, which means we're thinking like entrepreneurs. I'm going to do another live recording of Think Like an Entrepreneur Thursday. This is where we discuss the mindset shift of going from an employee to an entrepreneur. So welcome. So happy you're here. If you don't know me, have I introduced myself? It's Aaron Smith of the Starters Club. At the Starters Club, we help people go from idea to profitable business, setting the strategies in place, getting the momentum of leads through content marketing and social media marketing. So welcome. So happy to have you here. So if you haven't watched, check over over on YouTube, youtube.com slash the starters club. We've got 30 some episodes of Think Like an Entrepreneur Thursday. I thought this was such you know, an important thing to do because I know so many people, they start a business, they've got this great idea for a business, but they've been an employee for so long that they have to really do that shift in understanding what's going to make them a successful business owner. So today's topic I actually am bringing up because it just it's always such a great reminder to me about how important it is to ask for what you need. Now, I'm going to put a giant disclaimer on this. I am the worst person at asking for help. I hate asking for help. Uh, I grew up in a home where asking for help was a sign of weakness. And so for me, it is so difficult to ask for what I need. And even if it's something simple, I hate doing it. All right. So let it be known. This is something that I've really had to get over myself in doing. And I'm going to be honest with you. One of the things you have to understand about people is that they don't know how to help you. They don't know sometimes, you know, if they love your business, if they love what you do, if they love interacting with you, it doesn't mean they know how they can help you more. So perfect example, are you asking for referrals? You know, are you asking people, if people tell you, oh my gosh, I've had a great experience with you. I love blah, blah, blah. They're raving about you. Are you taking that next step and saying, well, do you know someone who could also use this? That extra piece is in extremely uncomfortable to do. It's extremely uncomfortable to say, hey, you know, do you think you could, and you're not begging, you're not asking, but you're doing the simple thing. And it's not that you're putting them in a, in a tough position, but you're just simply making that next step. So there's several ways that you've got to learn how to ask, referrals being one of them. So when somebody's raving about your business, when somebody's talking about a product that you sell, when somebody's doing that, instead of just saying thank you, Take that extra step and ask for a referral. Ask for that. Hey, well, do you think you could, you know, tell your friends or do you think, do you know of anyone else who could use this that I can reach out to? Ask for that referral. The other place is ask for the sale. We assume so much that if somebody loves us, they know how to buy from us. And I love the story. So, Gary Leland's a friend of mine and I always love, he has a, one of his businesses is, uh, it's softball, so Pat Best Pitch Softball, but he sells softball supplies. And so he would talk about how he would have to be so explicit to people about how to, where they needed to click to buy his product. And it literally got to a point where it was like, click here, buy this product. And he put arrows to it, click here to purchase this. And there were still times when people would reach out to him and say, I really love this bat, but how do I buy it? And he's like, oh my gosh, the giant click button right there that says click this button to buy this. So you have to be explicit. And I know that's an extreme example of asking for the sale, but so many times we feel that if somebody loves us, if they appreciate, you know, they, they love the product, they're excited about the product that they're going to simply buy. And if you're not asking, if you're not explicitly asking for that sale, who knows how many you're missing out on? The truth is there will be people who buy. But if you're not explicitly asking, you know, even when it comes to follow up emails, you know, I, I could tell you um, when I was doing webinars for a while, I wasn't getting great results. And I was talking to we have a master, I have a mastermind group um, and I'm part of and one of the girls in there is like, oh, no, no, no. You've got to follow up like four or five times with an email. Sure enough. Every time, you know, following up with those extra emails changed my close rate tremendously. So you know, I assumed, well, they saw it in the webinar and if they love it, they're going to buy it. Right. But not the case at all. You got to actually do the specific ask. So in the sales process, make sure you understand 
referral process. Make sure you ask, 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 ask. Be, you know, over ask, to be honest with you. I mean, you people just, they need the guidance. They need that push. They need that understanding of how they can work with you. All right. So the third area of where you need to ask is in your networking. I actually, this is why this whole topic is fresh on my mind. So true story. I'm having coffee with a friend of mine several weeks ago and we're, we were actually, we, we do a couple, we do small events together. So we do some luncheons together. We're doing a, you know, closing out the, the uh, finances on our last event. And he's just talking to me. Now he knows me well, like we have coffee a lot. We talk a lot. He, I know his business. He knows my business. We talk a lot. He's sent me referrals before. Um, we know each other like this, you know, so for me to assume he knows how he can help me is probably um, one of those areas where an assumption isn't as bad. However, we're sitting there talking and he goes, we've just, I can't remember how it got brought up, but I said something like, yeah, I'm looking for clients in this type of field. If you know someone who needs, you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot of uh, social and content marketing consulting. And I said, if you know somebody who needs this specifically, let me know. Now, um, hey, Jen, good to see you too. It has been a while. Good to see you. So literally, this is like as we're wrapping up the conversation. So you'd think he would have like come in and said, hey, Aaron, I got this great lead for you. But it was that question that being very specific that triggered him. And he's like, oh my gosh, I've got the perfect client for you. I actually just started working with them. We start doing this whole conversation. And sure enough, uh, we just signed our uh, statement of work and contract last week. So had I not, you know, had I just sat there and said, well, you know, it was me. He, I assume if he's got somebody, he's going to tell me about it. And, Luckily, the conversation steered to where I specifically asked for that. And what do you know? It's, you know, a great, great connection and customer in place. So you've got to, just because somebody knows you, just because somebody's been around, you know, maybe they understand, maybe your business, maybe you pivoted a little bit, or maybe you're, you know, excited because you're taking on new customers, whatever that is, don't assume just because somebody knows you for a while, that they understand how they can help you. So every time you network, every time you network with somebody, be specific about how somebody can help you. Like say, hey, I'm, you know, what can I help you with? You know, just so you know, I'm looking for A, B, and C, whatever that is. So when you're networking, I don't care if somebody knows you 50 times over, get that reminder in their brain about you and, you know, get on top of mind, get that reminder about how they can help you and where they can serve you. So those are three areas. This is uncomfortable. Okay. And, and like I said, I get it, you know, that extra referral to actually put yourself out there and say, well, can you tell somebody about it? Can you suggest somebody, you know, to somebody that's uncomfortable, but you've got to get used to those things. If you really want to succeed and grow in a business, ask for your sales, I don't care if you knock something out of the park, if you knock a speech out of the park, if you knock a sales page out of the park, the sales page better be asking specifically of how they can do business with you um, or stating specifically, but a webinar, a Facebook, whatever, ask, guide them somewhere, push them somewhere and ask for the sale. And just when you think it can't be more obvious or more specific, make it even more specific uh, just to let them know. And then the third is out in your networking. Ask people, you know, who they know, how they can, you know, or, or be specific and letting them know how they can help you. Like I said, my friend knows me well. He knows my business well. Uh, ideally, he should have walked in and said, oh my gosh, I got a great situation for you, but I had to bring it up in order to get that, but, and it's working out great. So never, ever, ever assume we should all know that by now, but unfortunately it's a lesson I, I know I have to learn every day, but that is our think like an entrepreneur Thursday. So get, I mean, you should honestly, as an employee, you know, to succeed as an employee, you're probably asking for ways you can grow, uh, things you can do to, you know, if you're really moving up the ranks as an employee, you probably, You should understand the importance of the ask, but it can be definitely more uncomfortable when it's your baby versus a company you work for. So you really do need to get over that hump and uh, get more comfortable in asking for things. I'm going to tell you, if you can get used to make it a challenge, make it a challenge every single day, figure out one way of how 
you can ask for something and don't get in the, you know, this is the whole service first type thing. Don't get in the, in the situation where you're constantly asking and never actually helping others, especially on the networking side, but, you know, figure out what can I ask? What do I need today? And how can I ask for it? Um, and start really getting used to that practice. I'm going to tell you your business is going to transform. So thank you guys for watching. It's Thursday time to think like entrepreneurs, get your business rolling, get it profitable get it fun. I know sometimes business uh, may not be as much fun as you thought it was going to be, but it's just about really changing that mindset shift, putting some strategy behind your business and making it fun again. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it's Thursday. We'll be back. Like I said, join over at youtube.com slash the starters club for all upcoming episodes. So thank you guys for watching. Jen, thanks for popping in and commenting and uh, we will see you later.